What's up, gang? Welcome back to my kitchen. I just finally did a healthy grocery shop. I didn't buy a lot of things, but I'm doing a one sheet pan meal recipe. Super healthy, anti-inflammatory, and candida friendly, and all of that, so that will be next week's video. But for now, I basically got enough stuff for a couple recipes that I'll be doing, and a few of my staples. Squash. Squash grows above ground, so the sugar content is very, very low, and it's beneficial for anti-inflammatory and candida fighting, which is gut bacteria, all of that. Eggs, you really want free range. If you can find free range, it's better than free run. Free run means they're in a football field size barn where they can move around, but they're not out on the range eating bugs and everything that chickens should eat for optimal health. Mixed beans for whatever. Frozen blueberries, I love to put those in smoothies or oatmeal, high, high antioxidant level, which scavenges free radical damage cells in your body and keeps you detoxified. Flaxseed for chocolate peanut butter protein bars that I have linked below, so check that recipe out. This is sugar-free cola, but it has no artificial sweeteners in it. It's just stevia. Avocado, breakfasts, salads, everything. Lime juice, I'm realizing is delicious on pretty much any meal. So I put that on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberries, organic peppers, wheat-free rolled oats. Oats don't generally contain wheat. However, because of the processing plants, they are always contaminated with wheat unless they are certified wheat and gluten-free. This is the healthiest soup that I have actually ever seen. I believe you get your ass kicked saying so much like that, man. All of the ingredients are just organic veggies. No crap, nothing fake. It's delicious. Zucchini for the recipe that you'll see. Quinoa, healthier than rice. Like to have it in any dish that would normally have rice. Organic chicken breast. It's very, very important to make sure that your meat is organic. Keep in mind that fat stores toxins. So if it's not organic, you wanna be getting rid of as much fat as possible. Spring mix for salads, apple cider vinegar for the myriad, just Google apple cider vinegar and you'll see. How much time you got, buddy? Unsweetened vanilla cashew milk. There is an ingredient called carrageenan. It is not in the Silk brand and it's really bad for you. So I would get, if you're using dairy-free milk, either canned coconut milk or or silk or any other brand that does not have carrageenan. Skipjack has the least amount of mercury in any tuna that you can buy canned and it's in water, which is better than oil. And broccoli for the recipe. So there you have it. That is a typical healthy grocery haul. I would buy pretty much the exact same things, I would say, once a month. It's been summertime, so I've been busy, but that's it. Please do subscribe to this channel because the videos on this channel can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. And please share the channel because the info on here can help anyone. Check out the other recipes, all kinds of good info here. If you would like notifications of the next time I post a video, please hit the little bell notification icon down there and you will be notified each time I upload. And please, if you thought this video was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, give it a thumbs up for me down there because that lets me know what kind of content to keep producing. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun looking for things you don't normally get at the grocery store and stay exciting. Bye. How much time you got, buddy?